Well, today we find ourselves in the front room of Mr. Andrew Sheridan's home uh, in Altrincham, not too far from Sale, where, of course, he plies his trade um, at Club Rugby. Not too far off the Six Nations, of course, where uh, uh, injuries permitting, uh, Andrew will be uh, packing down in the front row against the Welsh on February the 4th, Friday night at the Millennium Stadium. And um, it's been quite a transformation, hasn't it, uh, Andy, um, in terms of England? And indeed, sale, because there's a whole change of power there, and uh, it's not been too good, but recently you've started getting some results as well. So on the rugby front, lots to be excited about. Definitely, yeah. It's been uh, an interesting time at sale. We, a bit of transition, but uh, we've got, got that win against Saracens, which was very important for us. And then a draw the other night, so hopefully we're we're going in the right direction as far as results are concerned, and we can build on on the, those two games for the rest of the season. And from an England point of view, obviously, uh, just come off the back of the the Autumn Internationals, as I said, the Six Nations just around the corner, uh, and then the small matter of a World Cup. Of course, you played in the last World Cup final, um, and uh, again, much to be excited about. Yeah, it was I uh, oh, really thoroughly enjoyed the uh, previous World Cup, it was just a great experience and uh, I think everyone wants to be involved in, in World Cups and looking forward to the one again this year and uh, with a good autumn um, overall, you know, perhaps disappointing last match but I thought we, we played some pretty good rugby and if we can build on that through the Six Nations and, and onwards then uh, hopefully we can be positive about the uh, uh, forthcoming year. Well, uh, we all know about you, the player, and we all know because it's been read and uh, written and, and said so many times of how strong you are and, and the bench presses and the squats and you know the strongest man in British rugby and all of that. But there's a lot more to you than people may know. Um, for example, what course are you taking at the moment? Um, I'm currently taking a, a wine and spirits course it's WSET. Does that mean basically you just drink lots? Well it, it, it's sort of an, an educated way of looking at yeah of, of, you're meant to taste the wine not so it's not just knocking it back. Not guzzle it. No not guzzling but um, I thought well, I, I do do a bit of guzzling of wine so I thought well I can perhaps learn a bit more about it and, and the course is just uh, the intermediate one which is the one I'm starting on just covers all the major grape varieties and just gives an overview of wine and um, I just thought it would be an interesting thing to do and um, see how I get on with this course and then perhaps if I've enjoyed it and do okay at it then I can move on and perhaps do the advanced and there's diplomas and all sorts but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens once I've done this uh, first course. Now in some contrast of course you also are qualified at Bricklay, I'm not quite sure how the two merge there. But I suppose if you're building a vineyard and you you, you know you need to sort of house the vats for for the wine or whatever, but you, you, you can you can certainly build a wall if need be. Yes, it's probably a, yeah I can, I can build a wall. Um, so if I need a nice garden wall, I probably could do that. Although since I've, I left the college, I haven't uh, put my uh, bricklaying skills to any use. So that's a... now there's one other skill I particularly want to talk to you about. Last year, as you well know. Uh, you dislocated your shoulder. That's a pretty nasty injury, especially, well, for anybody, but especially for prop. And it meant that you were out for eight months. And in those eight months, you obviously spent a lot of time rehabilitating. And uh, it worked because you're back to your fearsome best. But you also put good use, didn't you, to, to that time. And apart from the wine courses and the thinking about building walls, but not actually building them, what was the main thing that you got up to? Um, well, so the music side of it, I like my... Uh, guitar playing and songwriting um, and I've written quite a few songs over a number of years really so I, uh, my wife organised it to start with just to, to have some time at a studio in Manchester, Cotiso Studios in Manchester and uh, uh, you just you can buy some time to record, uh, studio time really so you can just record, I just recorded some tracks acoustically and uh, and then went away and we sort of developed it from there. Well, a lot of people play, play guitar, but not many people actually release an album on iTunes, which is what you've done. That's almost yeah. more than a hobby. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. We, we, we took it in a pretty laid-back fashion. It wasn't uh, 
Um, yeah, we I, I guess put quite a lot of time into it, but uh, it, it was done in a yeah, like I say, a relaxed feel to the, to all the tracks, and um, we didn't take ourselves too seriously. It was, it was uh, yeah, just a bit of fun and um, just enjoyed doing it. Really. So. Well, I think at this moment, if you're happy to do so, it would be lovely if we could if we could hear uh, right, a, few, okay. a couple of tunes for me. That'd be All lovely. Right, then. I'll give, it a, give it a go. Pressure's on there, hasn't it? Faith all gather round you like some kind of herd. Their eyes they glaze right over as they hang on every word. Cause you tell those who care and you tell those who don't the stories you share. You better just talk about the album. Oh, what's the name of the album? It's called Where We Go From Here. How's it gone so far? Are you getting a few buyers? It's good, yeah. yeah. It ticks over. Uh, a few people have bought it. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, sold a few. Uh, how, how well would it go under Martin Johnson and the Six Nations if you play your first half and then at half time, you know, once you've had your cup of tea, before the second half starts, you go out and do a couple of songs for the, uh, for the crowd? I think that would probably go down very well. <laughs> um, no, but it's, it's, it's been good. It's been good. Uh. So when you say you've played Twickenham, and it's so far with a rugby shirt on, but maybe the next thing is <laughs> when the career's over. Wow, well, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> well, who are the sort of, you know, the, the singer-songwriters, the guitarists that you like? I would have, I would say, when I, well, I started learning to play when I was 21, so it's only in the last so 10 years. Um, David Gray would be someone who, when I think he had his album White Ladder out at the time, which was uh, you know, a great album, a song from Babylon, yeah. This Year's Love, and um, well, countless songs, it was, it was a very good album. So, uh, certainly, I um, enjoyed uh, his music, and uh, people like Damien Rice, um, and then more into the bands like Snow Patrol, just, just. Stuff that's got a nice melody and um, yeah, it's pleasing to the ear and it's got good good lyrics. So uh, hopefully in a, in a you know a couple of weeks, three weeks time, you'll be heading down to the team hotel, the England team hotel in Bagshot. Um, you've got three home games in the Six Nations, two away, Wales and Ireland. The guitar will be coming with you. Yes, I, brought, I might take. I don't always take this guitar. I've got one another guitar, a smaller, smaller guitar. Do you, do you have a roommate, presumably, don't you? Yes. Does it change every time, or is it always the same one? Um, I might tend all for the autumn, but it, it probably will change. And did you, I can, uh, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself here, but uh, did Tins lie there, sort of smiling with his uh, head in his arms, uh, lying back on the, on the bed as you serenaded him? Well, fortunately we've got these uh, um, two floors in the, in the room, so Mike's got the, yeah, Tins had the room downstairs and then I had the uh, uh, room upstairs, so I, I, I tried not to... Uh, Sing too loudly. Yeah, no. Okay. Sorry. I wonder you might get the gig at the Royal Wedding. How about that? You could, if you drop a few hints. Well, I, yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and well, listen, it's been it's been fantastic uh, seeing you this afternoon, and uh, great to see you as always. And uh, it would be lovely if you could play us out with uh, with one more tune, maybe one from your Come your from album. The album, yeah. Gave you more than I had to give But you don't like the way that we live I 
I sweated blood and I sweated tears To give us something that could last for years All the hurtful things that you said Still remain in my head And I don't know where we go from here You've walked out once Threatened twice Do you base it on the throw of a dice You seem to think that life 